Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so we finna react to Jubilee. Hey, I know everybody reacts to this. They're having some nice ass content. I'll be watching some of my favorite content creators make a whole lot of videos on Jubilee and stuff. So look. We finna react to six women who orgasm and one who spanked it. So look, hey, let's see what they talking about. Let's see what the fuck going finna happen. We'll see. Let's see if they do some crazy shit. Say some crazy shit. I know how these videos be going. I've orgasmed. I've orgasmed. I've orgasmed. I've orgasmed. I've orgasmed. I've orgasmed. Prediction. Boom. Prediction. Who y'all think didn't? For some reason, I'm getting these. Bro. I'm getting her. I feel like it's her. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just feel like it. So, let, but we gonna see. But that's my prediction. So I'll start with kind of like my ish. I kind of like stayed away from sex for a while, but then I went to college had that college experience <laughs> it's kind of progressed a lot from there was it your first orgasm in general or with someone else with someone else for me personally i was never really concerned with like dating or a relationship and then i met this guy in class and our first hookup like did not go as planned as i yeah. feel like it never does yeah. <laughs> then i like came out to california and i started like dating and i think that's when like i had my first orgasm i feel like there were times where like in california fake it, cause, like you know, you might love him or you might not love him. It's like, let me just do what I can in this moment. There was something just sus about her. She's too sweet to be able to like say her piece in bed. I didn't finish because of a partner until I realized I was lesbian. So I was just like with a guy after guy after guy and I was like, what? why isn't this working? Something isn't working like here. something's just not <laughs> right? working. And I definitely thought it was like something about me or my body. Like I thought I was being difficult. And then I was like, oh, it's not a me thing like at all. Yeah. Like, four years ago was when I got sexually active and my first time also was terrible. It was at this situation ship. Wait, so when did you have your first orgasm? With a partner, it would be four years ago when I was in that situation ship. Oh, like mm -hmm. even though it was like yeah, not that great, first like time it was still happened, happened, but we still yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah. you think? Shoot, I wish I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you cut it yeah. loose. Okay, I didn't have my first orgasm with a partner till I was like 21. I feel like that goes into a lot of sex education and being taught like sex is for like babies and not to achieve orgasm, but it happened. Yeah. And now it keeps happening. I would say the first time I actually hey. orgasmed with a partner, I was hey, 21. Man. It was just kind of funny because I didn't think I was going to lose it until I like got married. I'm like third generation, like hyper religious family. So church I girls. I like dirty women and everything. I don't know, bro. Like, it, yeah. oh. it was rough. <laughs> she told me she's third generation church girl. Get the know. whole squad together at Cidercade. Just ten bucks to get in, then get unlimited. She was like giving me like young, innocent vibes. Just off of like initial stories, I felt like hers was the most vague. Something she said threw off my gaydar. I'm usually really good at detecting women who go both ways, so that was a surprise. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mia. Yeah, uh, just phone. based off of the first initial take, it's kind of hard to relate to my story or it seems very like fantastical or weird. Um, so it kind of makes sense. I have a question. What was your best sexual experience? Sexual experience or best orgasm? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I would say, I, I like seeing like experience. You want to share first? Sure. Yeah. I would say actually recently I went for my friend's birthday oh, fun. and we went out to a bar. That was the very first time going home with somebody. Oh, wow. I was going to say, with your friend? I think that was my for sure, just because the spontaneity of it. And the guy was older, so he just really oh, knew what he was I doing. Love yeah. I feel like mine isn't the like best one to go off of, but it was the I best like experience the stuff for that me. They say <laughs> um, I was on my period, so oh, maybe TMI, no. I don't know. Oh, no. But there was just something about her. I was like, she, I don't care, you don't care. She and never had a girl. Like, That's hot. Yeah. Ugly face, everything. That's hot. <laughs> Man, these are uh, nice. Yeah, I'm taking it, bro. Stop. 
So yeah, I've had multiple experiences years back with older men, like mid thirties to forties. Mm -hmm. There was one experience. It was just like, you know, it wasn't planned. Like it was just in the moment and like, he just knew what he was doing. And it's like the, like, you know, like grabbing Bro, me. What? And just Bro. Like, yes, yes. I've been in theater. That doesn't feel convincing to me. <laughs> I think for me was no, actually like a guy that I just met in college. Me and my friends always make the joke nice. like if they ask me where I'm going, like oh I'm gonna go see Rocket Ship, because that's what I called him. Like that's why. <laughs> it felt like huh? in that moment when you've never had an orgasm and it happens, I just feel like it's like stars, just yes. like that's what it felt like to me. So for me, this threesome I had with the well-known guy and his girlfriend, he had like a playlist like Drake and the <laughs> yes. weekend. Bro, like, shut the just, you know, it's a lot of like shut the fuck up. Niggas don't listen to that yeah. shit, bro. That's like the main part of it. I feel like it's not just like specifically the sex; it's the experience. Niggas is not it. putting that shit on, me bro. Specifically, like I'm not gonna come like this from like. Well, that's you know? what I was gonna say. Is like it. I wouldn't say it was like the best sex of my life, but when I think like sexual experience, that's the first one because there was such yeah. a mood. Mm -hmm. And of course, like since I'm like the guest star, I'm like <laughs> extra paid attention yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like doing things. I was on like my head doing like a handstand. I like, love it. It was yeah, crazy. She capping. So she capping. You not doing no handstand, like, bro. What does orgasm actually feel like to you? Because I said it feels like a rocket ship, like a yeah. spaceship. Honestly, like for me, your body like tenses up. Mm -hmm. How I, I, I kind of feels like melting sometimes, but then sometimes like if you change the momentum and it's slow, it feels like butterflies and bubbles. You know what yeah. I mean? I I feel like bro, every what? Is, like, bro, why like, did I pick yeah. this one out of all videos like to watch, bro? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I have to focus. Tweaking. Like I have to like make it happen. Otherwise, like if I stop thinking about it, then it's not. Then it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'm the same. I've heard some people like say that who aren't like really experienced sexually. So I was like, maybe she's just trying to go off like internet resources. I feel like I honestly blank out. I feel like it's one of <laughs> it's an out of body. Experience. I know everyone says it like is white hot, but I just blank out. I feel like I, it's just like one of the few times I can really like let go and just be mm. present because my brain is just always going on. So it depends if it's the first organ because I have this thing where like once I come, I can like keep coming like 10 times yeah. like in a row. Bro, we I did not ask that, just, like, yours, bro. Where it's like, I really had to like concentrate to get there. Mm. And then others where I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I, I had to <laughs> listen to Celine Dion yeah. yeah. I was having a moment. Bro, shut up, bro. Her uh, they finna bet out Jace. Of her orgasm, it felt very like by the book. I was like, it's Sarah, Jada, but then Jada was like, oh, I call my guy Rocket Man. You only give nicknames to some good. D uh, oh. Bro, I'm dead. <laughs> I oh, they voted out the one I, I, about I picked. It taking so long for me to get there with a partner. And then when I said church girl, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> if you think yeah, the you mole should've. is still in the box and you'd wish to play the game, please raise your hand at this time. Damn, I don't know. Okay, wait, I have a question. When did it come to the understanding, or if you always had it, where an orgasm is about both people? I would say in college, because I, like you, I wasn't really into it sexually. That's when I was interested in learning about other people, especially, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. After I left my four-year relationship, he had told me like, oh, no one's ever gonna love you. Like, no one's ever gonna wanna have sex with you again. Like, literally yeah. those words. And every partner after that, I've been like focused on them. Mm. Like it's never been about me. It's yeah. always been about how can I please them. I was thinking, okay, well maybe she switched tactics and that's what really brings her pleasure is bringing other people pleasure. I was never really a sexual person anyway. Like I had the purity ring. I was saving myself for marriage. My answer is around church. I was Damn. raised like super Catholic. And so for me, it didn't even really conceive in my head that like, oh, this is for women too, because everything yes. is so like, giving serving for the man, cooking, right. cleaning for the man, having a household for the man. I didn't even literally start like thinking like, I want to come too, <laughs> till I was like 21. And yeah. that was like our yeah. cultural influences and women talking about sex and being more open. Right. It's for both people. Right. It's not yes. just like me giving no. all to you because I'm like, what am I here for? I have a question. So how did you feel the first time someone was able to get you there? Like, especially because it sounds like a lot of us had religious backgrounds. Like. Yeah. 
Because I know the first time I felt it, it took me a second to feel okay. Yeah. And, like, I remember during the whole process just feeling like I was being watched. Like, I have a lot of, like, deceased loved ones, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, just feeling like they were watching me. Am I doing it? something bad? Wow, yeah. you like, guys! I know. <laughs> yeah. you know what, like, that's what's, like, put in your mind, it though. Is. Like, yeah. It is. Like, mentally what you go through. Then later on, it's like, shoot my bad, <laughs> no. that's, how it, what, like, that's what's like put in your mind. It is. Like, yeah. it is. Like mentally what you go through. Then later on, it's like, shoot, they can watch what they want to. <laughs> um, One of the okay. things was the white shirt. I don't know. When I think of white, I think of purity. She also said something about how she wanted to save herself for marriage. She had a purity ring. So I'm like, if you add all those things together. Felt like she was kind of like talking a little too much and trying to explain her story to be where Sarah we believed for... it. Um, be Sarah. What? Okay. But I felt like it I was very authentic with my story. I think I talked a little more about my past experience with my Christianity, plus the white shirt. I think they kind of <laughs> they kind of went for that too. <laughs> if the lights turn white, green, no shirt, that means no that you have all voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. In three, two, one. No, I knew it! F- Who? No. no! Will the mole Who? please step forward? In three, two, one. I knew it! I knew it! No, I ain't gonna, I wouldn't have guessed her. I wasn't even thinking about her. No! Not you! I like to think I had intuition. When the lights were red and there was three of us, I was like, I knew it was Jada! And it wasn't! I have never come from someone else um, giving that to me. I enjoy sex all the time. Um, I just... Nobody has really taken the time Maybe to learn she just can't how do it. to like, make me come, I guess. So I love talking about sex because I think that there's this narrative that everybody should be able to come just, you know, and I don't. And I still have fun and I still learn a lot about myself. Wow, you got us <laughs> yeah. good. I was nervous. As a Never would have guessed. <laughs> My biggest goals today was to use my authentic experiences without inherently lying. Probably should have paid more attention to her. Yeah, that's a woman that gets what she wants. She did. (laughs) Dang it. (laughs) Damn, she got right up the ass. (laughs) (laughs) I wanted to come here today to show that sex is just so different. Damn. All right, y'all. Y'all come below how y'all feel about this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Give me your to a thousand subscribers. Y'all fuck with me and I fuck with y'all. Let's get it. We just watched the Jubilee. Six women ha- who have orgasm in one fake. So, hey.